Alright guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, it's very echoey in here. Usually I have it there. It's fine though. Alright, let's start. That you could join us do a fantastic start. little winner. Hi, hey, welcome back. Did Certain you need sir? to paint this painting. While they're doing that, let's go on up here. I've already covered oh, the we're playing. An even coat of the little reach of the screen that you need to paint this painting. While they're doing that, let's go on up here. Now I'm just gonna grab some water and just like cover it. Not like drench it. Oh, it's a little too much moisture. Okay, I have a palette, a little, little palette that he has, but I couldn't find it, so I used a clipboard. Uh, so I used a clipboard and clipped a piece of plastic to it. Big brain when you're trying to save time. He's got a lot of yellow here. Here we go. And grab a little, a little bit of red. Wait, this is red. This is metallic red, I think. That looks more like a orangey red. But I feel like that's just um the way the the camera's back then. It looked kind of red. Okay, so this brush is weird. A little bit of red in there. Just a very small amount of the bright red. So <laughs> very yellow. small amount. And bright oh, red. I think I got a little too much. There, just, just I think I got a little too much in here. here. Maybe we'll have a sun in the sky today, so decide where your sun's gonna live. <laughs> it's gonna be right here. There you go. Oh, he's gonna be. There we are. See, my son lives with me. Where's my son? How big is he going? So we have white. Oh, the paper towel crappy. Titanium white, that's what you say, right? That's a metallic white. Yeah, same thing, it's fine. Okay. I'm gonna put it right there. Oh god, that's a wobble. Oh, what's this? Oh, I got titanium wire right here. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna use this for now. And alizarin crimson. The circle we made. And do this. Just make little, okay, little okay. crisscross. I fried something. You guys might not be able to see that well. But it it's egg. fine. At the end, I'll do a close up. <laughs> I'm not a very good. Oh, it's going on my son! Oh my, he's going big. What the heck? Just throw it off. And we'll lay that off. You got blue in there. Okay. Blue! Eh. Oh, I got paint on my fingers. Oh my god, it's so messy. Why don't you go on? I hate these caps. Mmm! This cap, I'm struggling with the cap. Screw the cap. Who needs a cap? Yeah, that looks a lot pinkish. Now, all of these colors are mixed. Oh, look at that richness. Like that. So that makes it, makes it. If you use these little crisscross strokes where it comes together. Brush is running out of a little bit of moisture. Let's go pop. Oh, that's a little too much. Too much. Goes on. How much do you need for the bottom? Still without washing the brush. Skill. My brush go. Oh, there it is. Okay, so he mixed brown. Straight in there. Yeah, oh, all the way up to the edge. And in. Maybe a touch more of the touch more of the phthalo blue into that. Yeah, that's yeah, better. Blue. Wait, 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 chill, Barbara. Right. You're going fast. Okay, holding it is much better. And this. Oh my god, it's painted my cable. We can throw a little of it right in here. Blue. And he's putting stuff in the bottom. Brown. You need some milk! We got a little too much here, so I'll put a little more purple-ish colors there. Woo! That's a lot of blue. Okay. I'm just gonna do it as quick as possible. Okay, that's a little too much there. Definitely a lot bluer. You may really be in trouble with this one. Let's take the old and using little crisscross strokes. Crisscross blend it. My brush came out of my hands. I need more of that brown. That looks a lot more legit. Okay. 
cut across and get that small roll of paint right out on the edge. I'll have like the same kind of knife that he does. One of the questions that I answered earlier, but in case you missed it, I want to say it again because I get so many, so many letters about it. So many letters. <laughs> I thought you were going to say comments. Ah, uh, this is what what you get from fil filming uh, episode in 1985. The knife is squeaky. I did something. Okay, go for it. My knife is just like your knife. Until I painted it, it looked, oh, it looked like chrome. It's very shiny. But if I leave it that way on TV, then it shines and makes big things come on there and they yell and scream at me. So I just paint it with a flat black spray paint. See, these brush strokes, these brush strokes can be used to lay out your entire mountain just using brush strokes. And you can change your mind a thousand times if you want to. And just look and get an idea of what, you, what it's gonna be like little amount of bright red into it the least least little amount just enough to warm it up pull it out flat nice nice roll of paint right out on the edge here okay let's go up here let's take the point of the knife I'm gonna send it Let it flow. Oh my. Okay, that looks like a mountain. And two. It's because they apply too much pressure to. There you go. Just relax. Just relax. There. See? Yeah. Wiping the knife and the brushes on. Once again, cut off that little roll of paint. Very important that you have that. I got a little bit. I don't, I don't think you guys can Back see in it. here. And there. Just lay them in here. My shadows look and a little This is too. a very simple little mountain. When you're doing this at home, you can do a much better job. You can put all kinds of things in there. And you can just keep on and on and on. Maybe you want to bring that distinctly down. You can just keep going until you get it just the way that you want it. If you have some place where there's not a lot of mountains, you can pick up some books at the library that have beautiful, beautiful scenes in them. Books? Or Just go on Google and search. Browse canvas. Nice. Let's see this Let me clean the knife. Dude, I gotta clean up the top edges. Because it just looks too... Looks like, looks like there's an overlap on the top. Knife control, bro. We're solid. I thought I messed up big time, but it turns out to be great. Sharp little edge. Brush and tap downward. Just tap downward. There. You're a wizard, Bob. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Things happening up here. These are little... There we go. They want to hear what you want. Then let's take the two-inch brush, grab, and pull straight down. Huh. I got something. Now we just pull it out and cut off a little bit, just like we normally do. You're right. There it is. Just a little peninsula that comes right out here. So you can make all kinds of little coves and just anything that you want. You can do it. There we are. 
Choose the corner of the brush. Tap downward. Downward, downward. I don't have one of those brushes, bro. No idea. Yeah, I don't got no brush like that, bro. I think we have to full send it with this. Oh my, it's gonna be a hard one. I'm not even talking that much now because I'm so focused in the. I, sure. You got some. I mean, it doesn't have like the shadow looking effect to it because there's no there's no highlights here. Hold up. Okay, it comes this way, just a game of angles. Allow some of that blue to show through, it looks like shadows. I feel like and this is coming back. things here and there. And as many or as few as you want. There they go. And the old clock on the wall tells me it's gone Stay time. on the thing, please. Call it a day. This painting is about finished, so I hope you've really enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you again next time. And from all of us here, happy painting. God bless you little bells on here. Should I sign it? You sell it for ten thousand dollars. And as many or as few as you want. There they go. And the old clock on the wall tells me it's about time to call it a day. Oh my, this my hands, hands bro. So I hope you really enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you again next time. And from all of us here, happy painting. God bless. Alright, thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, see you guys next time. Bye.